This is the HD0 Event VRX, and its purpose is to make it really easy for us to integrate HD0 and analog FPV feeds into one race. And it does this by having uh, HD0 receivers and analog receivers in the same box. The box automatically switches between HD0 and analog based on which signal is present. So if a HD0 pilot plugs in, the box will switch to HG0. If an analog pilot plugs in, it'll switch to analog. Here's a little demo of auto switching between HG0 right now and then analog. So I'm gonna power off and it's about five to eight seconds maybe for it to then lock on to analog as it just did and now show analog. And then the analog feed looks pretty good to me. Uh, I've seen better, I've seen worse but overall I'm, I'm not uh, worried about it. So now analog is gonna turn off here and then digital is gonna turn back on and you'll see how long that takes to, to switch over. So, but pretty cool that it automatically will do that for us. There's four channels on this box. Uh, so you can have four video channels at once. The composite video output outputs HD0 as well as analog signals and the HDMI output outputs both analog signal and HD0 so it just depends on whether the box is receiving HD0 or it's receiving analog both of those signals will output out of both of the outputs there are two antenna inputs on this device and those antenna inputs are shared between all of the receivers so that you can save a lot of money on high quality antennas. Uh, the optimum configuration I found in testing is actually to put a left-hand patch antenna on one of the antenna jacks and a right-hand patch antenna on the other. Boxes designed to be mounted onto like a board or something like that and then put onto an elevated pole uh, for use in event situations. Another useful config for this is to uh, connect all of the HDMI outputs of the VRX to a 4-in-1 HDMI multiviewer that then has one HDMI output that will go to your PC. This is really handy if you want to just use like a USB capture device that will work with any laptop or even your phone, I've found. Uh, that way you don't have to have a dedicated 4-in-1 uh, HDMI uh, capture device on your PC. You can just have one USB capture device. Here we've got it out of the field. Uh, I've got one of the boxes using HDMI and then the other box outputting uh, just through composite video and going to an OWL DVR box. And you can see I've got a mix of left and right hand antennas on one of the boxes. And we did find that that worked the best. There's this OLED screen on the box for configuring the unit. Uh, basically, you arrow over to the right to select the receiver that you're controlling, and then you just uh, move the arrows up and down to change the channel up and down, so super simple. You can also press and hold on a channel to lock it to only be HD0, and that can be handy if you're running only HD0 for that day. Um, the box does switch much faster between HD0 pilots if it is locked into HD0 only mode. So like the switch time is be a split second to switch between two HD0 pilots, but it's, it's something like three to eight seconds, let's say, to switch from analog to HD0 and vice versa. As you can see here, this is uh, just switching between HD0 only pilots and, and you can see it is about a uh, fraction of a second really to, to switch between the two. Pretty cool stuff. Here's what it looks like to have a mix of HD0 and analog pilots up at the same time. Uh, a hole <laughs> is the analog pilot in this mix up and then the rest of the three feeds that you see here are uh, the HD0 feeds. One thing you'll notice with the HD0 feeds is uh, they, they look uh, sharper obviously than the analog feed but there's also a little bit more uh, digital like snow noise in this uh, feed than you might see in your goggle and that's because uh, to save money 
on this receiver. Carl only put uh, like a two antenna solution in the box. Um, so it, it works pretty good, but it is a little bit less uh, good at re rejecting noise and stuff like that than the full-on uh, goggle receiver is. But still, I, I think it looks great. Here's what the video looks like in an indoor environment. So an indoor environment is going to be even more challenging because of multipathing and stuff like that. Uh, the upper left feed here is analog, and then um, on the right and on the bottom is uh, digital. And then on the bottom right is actually the OWL DVR box being fed like the same signals, but through composite video. So there's a lot going on here. The, the, the upper left three are all HDMI, but the upper left one is analog. And then on the bottom right, you're looking at uh, the analog output from the Event VRX going to the OWL DVR box. And then the OWL DVR box is outputting one HDMI signal. So the, the OWL DVR box is what a lot of us already have for doing uh, event DVR recording. So you can continue to use that. It does still look pretty good, um, but obviously the full digital is, is better. Um, you can see when you get further away uh, and you get some more things in the way, the uh, digital does break up a bit, but still looks good. Now, this is uh, two HD zero. The, the top two are HD zero, Cuba and pole setter, and then a hole and cube are both analog, so just so you can get another kind of view of what the analog feed looks like on this box being received versus the digital feed. The analog feed, I think, looks pretty good. It's uh, basic diversity. It isn't doing any kind of like mixing of multiple receivers, but there are two receivers per channel in there for analog and it'll switch between two based on signal. And then for the HD0 stuff, it is using both antennas and mixing things together, but that's just how, that's nothing new. That, that's how HD0 has always done it. So overall, uh, this box is awesome. It makes integrating analog and digital into the Ray super easy and seamless and compact, really, if you think about it. Uh, just this one tiny box, uh, with a bunch of outputs on it, automatically switches for us. Uh, and we get nice HDMI outputs out of it. Uh, if you want to upgrade to higher quality video and analog wow. outputs out of it, if I'm you want to keep on using analog hard. recording, I, 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 like I already that. have. Uh, <laughs> Carl made this box because Chris Thomas at MultiGP pointed out that it is really hard to integrate uh, these two. Uh, and then this would be the ideal solution to make that happen, and Carl pulled it off, which is awesome. This box is going to be used for the first time at MultiGP International Open, uh, June 7 to 12. And Carl's going to be there himself to um, learn more and to, and to help us set up and to also just talk to us pilots. So if you're out there, come uh, come say hi.